Hello, everyone. Welcome back. It's Thursday again, which means it's time to spin the wheel of jank. Toyotathon is on. Like they really need my help advertising their stuff. Come on now. Anyway, last week we had some fun animals. We got the WWF Panda. Got a Tasmanian Devil. And I think we got a Muskox as well. So, the big question. For the first Jank Pack Thursday of December, where do we go from here? Let's find out. We're going to spin, my voice will probably be garbled through some internet sorcery that I cannot figure out, but coming up, oh really now? Well good, December's starting off with a bang, and, and some gum. Courtesy of For the Polls. Thanks, buddy. See you at the table. Uh, this will mark the 39th... I, 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 I checked. The 39th pack of cards that has had... Oh, look, it's sticking his head out at me. 39 times I've... He I will mark that I've eaten some weird gum, and yes, the reveal, and as you can see, things are changing around here. I'm starting to condense boxes because I have far too many of them. Thanks. Here we go. Awesome All-Stars from For the Pulls. This is, and I looked it up. Actually, I didn't even need to look it up because I've eaten it, uh, quite a few times and um it never gets any better this is from 1988 which means this gum is 35 years old now if you consider that there are cars from 35 years ago that are no longer in existence yippee yippee but and, oh and i'm definitely going on uh doing a plug hunt while i do my oh man it's shattered my football rant because uh this is, there's only five cards, and it's not going to take a wall. Ooh, that's right, I forgot. Leaf has the gigantic, the gigantic pack of gum. Or stick of gum, it's about a pack. Oh, boy. Well, here we go. Let's enjoy this while we can. Okay, I'm happy. It's Paul the Ball. <laughs> Paul the Ball, ladies and gentlemen. And this is why we're going to do a plug hunt, too, because a lot of these are puzzle backs. I don't understand. Why would he wear pants but no shirt? I don't know. Paul the Ball, everybody. Well, maybe his name implies something. Alert Adam. Shout out Adam's card closet. Um, I think he's alert now. Probably wasn't before that. The puzzle back. Hello, friend. How are you? And we got Handy Harold. That's disturbing on so many levels. Puzzle back. I think some of these actually have stats. Norman the Nose. Um, hi, Norman. Ah, here we go. See, Norman the Nose can pitch a can fire a pitch at incredible speeds. During a hay fever attack, he fired one that is now orbiting the Earth. NASA officials want to hire want to hire him, but he won't give up. But he just won't give up baseball. That is a man who is a man. That is a man thing who is dedicated to the cause. Then we have Glenn the Glob. <laughs> I like the hat. Glenn the Glob is a puzzle back. Oh. Uh, these these would be fun if it wasn't for this. You know what I'm saying? But we will delay the inevitable because it's shout-out time. First community milestone shout-out, Evil's Comics, Evil Mike. He's at 692. we got to push him to 700. Comic reviews. And the cool thing is he does a lot of indie stuff, stuff that, you know, people on the on the outside like me 
wouldn't normally hear about, so I'm getting all kinds of all kinds of new stuff that I now I'm like, this is another reason why I don't need to go to the comic shop, because now I have a list of things that sound really awesome, so I have to avoid for the time being. Plus, he is Trev the Shipping Guru's co-pilot on Trev's live streams. Check them out. Evil's Comics and Fantasy Football coming into the game, the Monday night game. Um, I was down, I think, 40 to 45 or something like that. I only had two players left, Jamar Chase and Evan Engram. I figured Jamar Chase was going to be next to useless because there was no Joe Burrow, but uh, Jake Browning proved me wrong. And thanks to those two, I ended up sneaking past a couple of comics for the win. And this week, going up against Nick the Comic Nerd as the season begins to wind down. I got my checklist. We're going to do this real quick. Man, I really move stuff around because now everything is sort of just slightly out of reach. But I'll fix that. And I'm going to hold off on the fantasy football or on the football talk um, for the moment because we'll just go through this and then I'm going to need something while I'm trying to get rid of that gum out of my mouth. Do we have a metallic storm? Unfortunately, we do not. But let us see if we can get any of the cards we need. Let's do a quick hunt. Hello. Hello, Devil Man. Man Prince. No Man Prince. I keep need the Hill Hog. I keep hoping we need to get Rip Van. Ah, saw him last week, I think. The Deceiver. You didn't deceive me at all. There's Peter Pan. Let's go. I think I've seen this one, but I don't know. It's interesting. Space Specimen. I have seen it. That poor guy. We got the Torgensen brothers. I wonder if they're, you know, is that the uh, the mythological version of the Mackenzie brothers? Cato, the lioness. Ooh, I like this guy. I've probably seen him before. The wraith. We have seen him before. But I like the look of the wraith. Saw this one last week, I believe. The dinosaur guide. And... The cover card, Werewolf versus Frankenstein's Monster. Did not get anything on the Plug Hunt. This is going to be a shorter episode because these cards, or these packs, don't have a whole lot of uh, cards in them. But, at least you get to end it watching me eat something horrifying. So, going right back down real quick. Nick the Comic Nerd for the Fantasy Football shout-out. Evil's Comics is 692. Let's get him to 700. And, uh... Yeah. Hang on. Moving chair. Moving chair. Hello. Hi. How are you? Look at the, Look at this. Look at the freaking size of this. And the worst part is it's in so many small pieces. So many shards of awful. Like, I can just hear it. Get that out of the way for forever. A stack, a veritable stack of horrid. Courtesy of For the Pools. That guy. At least we have a crunch. It's it's got the consistency of um. If you remember those uh, candies, Necco wafers. When they're fresh, weirdly when they're fresh, they're crunchy. When they when they get smushy, like some of this gum. Oh, unfortunately, it doesn't taste like them. Unfortunately, it doesn't taste like anything. There's a slight full, there's a slight sense of false security because you're tasting a little bit of what used to be the sweet. Ugh. Then that goes away real quick. Oh my God. It's, the biggest problem is there's just Mmm. So much awful. I'm disappointed. Not just with this. Kenny Pickett got knocked out. Is out two to four weeks with a high ankle sprain. And I'm seriously bummed on that because last week I said what I hoped was 
that they would just take the reins off of them and let him run free. Have to evaluate him. You know, see if he's uh see if there's anything to work with in the future. Unfortunately he goes down. But what didn't help help his case is that the only Steelers touchdown of the day, when they got shellacked by the Cardinals, which I sadly saw coming, came from Mitch Trubisky through the air. Kenny Pickett hasn't thrown a touchdown in weeks. Will Levis has half of the number of his, of his career touchdowns in one quarter of the games. Something's wrong, and it's not and it's not just in my mouth. Although that is wrong too. That's not good. I keep saying it over and over. Stay in school, kids. I do it because you don't... I do it so you don't have to. Not that anybody in their right mind would. But that said, with my final breath, I curse for the pulls. Link to him down below because he is also the purveyor of Janky Legs and Susan the Goose. Oh, it's just wrong. Again, Evil's Comics. Evil Mike, let's get him to 700. Nick the Comic Nerd, fantasy football opponent. Let's see what happens. I will say this. There's probably an hour and a half or so until the Steelers and Patriots kick off. If anybody has anything pressing they wish to tell me, please put it in the chat. Because uh, when the, the Patriots hang 30 on the Steelers, I'm going to be... Uh, I'm going to be reaching for a glass of something a little stronger than water. Have a good one, everyone. Thank you for stopping by. We'll catch you later.